Yo, yo, yo. What's up, everybody? What's bragging? This is episode 011. And this is the first episode of 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, shout out to you if you're still watching. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to everybody still watching, still looking out for us, man. Um, this is your boy, your host, Russ Maurice. And of course, my co host, Trey Jackson, aka Wolf Play 13, motherfuckers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, obviously, you tuned in to this episode. You're probably wondering why this looks a lot like episode 10 and why we don't have a special guest for you guys. But, um, hey, look, man, it's all love. I'm not going to drop no names. I mean, y'all, y'all are on Instagram. Y'all. You know somebody was supposed to be here, but sometimes things don't work out. So, I mean, we, we got to keep the ball rolling. We still out here, man. We still got to give y'all a show, give y'all some content, man. Cannot put the mic down on this one, man. We got we to keep it going no, for y'all. No, so, oh, we just no. going to just dive right into this and just, you know, talk about a little, some recent topics, some current events, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, Trey, how you doing, man? You all right? How's the new year treating you? I'm just living life. I'm in the move, middle of moving right now, so you know, shit's real fun. I feel yeah, that that's a whole lot of fun right there. Anybody that's moved out there, I'm sure you enjoy that a lot. Um, if you're looking at this video, like I remind you every time, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your people. Please let us know what you think about us, man. Please engage with us. She let us know who y'all want on the show too. So that'd be real nice information. I'll try to get some more people on this show. Yeah, do that. Do that. Let us know. Let us know. I don't know if they're gonna show up, but shit, let us know, man. Let us know. Um, so man, I wanna start off this show honestly with um rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Uh, oh, rest yeah. in peace, Gigi, rest in peace, all the other families and kids that were tragically taken that day. Um it's just a sad reminder, people, that it, it 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 all it, it ends one day, you know. There's the, you, the tomorrow's not promised, and so you should appreciate the uh, the small things, just like like waking up in the morning, you know, ha, uh, you know, ha, having your ability, you know, your abilities, your you know, your mobility. Um, uh, just just appreciate life, y'all. Appreciate life. Um, I know a lot of people are hurt uh, mourning, um, but 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 just. Take that in and just, like I said, just appreciate life. Appreciate life. Um, Trey, when all that went down, where where was you at, man? Where was you at when you heard the news about that? Shit, I was at the house. I literally just got phoned by one cousin who's a huge Kobe fan. Damn. And, like, he, he didn't even say nothing. Like, he had no idea about it. Then, like, second I hung up, my pops called me. He was like, bro, I can't believe what happened. I was like, what's up? He was like, my man Kobe died. I was like, nigga, what you talking Damn. about? It's like, my man Kobe died. I was like, what? And so, like, I sat there and hung up the phone with him, got on Instagram, instantly saw that shit. And I was like, oh, shit. Called my cousin back. I was like, bro, how come you ain't telling me about this nigga Kobe dying? Mm -hmm. And he was like, what are you talking about? I was like, you ain't heard nothing? He was like, nah, I ain't hear nothing. I was like, bro, get on social media. It's everywhere. Oh, hell yeah. And so he got yeah, on social everywhere. media. And then, like, we didn't see him called his brother. We started talking to everybody. I was like, bro, like, it was crazy. It was real crazy. My... Uh, Kobe was the reason why me and a lot of like my family got really into basketball. I love this sort of shit. So you know, it was it kind of hurt, but you know, he he's a he's a legend. He, he is man. Legends never die. Oh, legends no. legends never die. People and that's mm -hmm. I I was I wasn't a huge huge Kobe fanatic. Don't get me wrong, but I really love the man's game. I really love Mamba mentality. And just as a basketball fan since I was a little kid, I'm 26 now. I've been watching basketball for a minute. We, we probably won't get another player like him, y'all. We probably won't. Like, it's not many players to this day. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of amazing players out there right now in the NBA. But this time that we live in, there's just not – there. Uh, you know, a lot of players, they go to different teams, man. There, there's not too many players that stay with a team for 20 years, get oh, no. five rings, and and, and and just all they want to do is win. We're, we're not mm -hmm. going to get too many LeBron, any more LeBrons, any more Kobe. So, yeah, man, it's, it, it, was, it was tragic. It was tragic. I remember 
I will never forget where I was when I got the news. I was in the car with my kids and my family, and I, I couldn't even believe it. I thought it was some fake shit, to be quite honest. But until I saw it, it was like on Complex, it was on um, World Star, it was on TMZ. Fuck TMZ, by the way. Hell yeah. Because yeah, y'all up. are some hoes, man. Because y'all should have let the family find out first before y'all put that story. So I, I, I don't really fuck with TMZ. Too much because that shit was very yeah. sour. That's a crazy way to find out about your, like your. That's daughter, a horrible your, way to find night. out. I would have been pissed if it was oh, my yeah. family. I would have been very. Uh, y'all niggas would be getting sued right now, straight up. Pretty sure they are trying to do a lawsuit against. They them. should. They should. And I hope they get whatever they can get. Oh, out there. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna slide into uh, something else, man. Um. The 2020 Grammys just passed not too long ago, uh, the beginning of February. I don't know those those of you out there that are in the music that might have watched. Um, Billie Eilish, she really cleaned up uh, five Grammys. She's, uh, I believe, like 18, 19, something she, uh, like that. She's 18. She okay, just, yes. She turned 18 not Recording too long ago. Recording them songs out her bedroom, people. So I, I, I want all my musicians out there, I want you to take that in, man. You don't need all the expensive shit. You don't like. You just need the work ethic, the grind, and be willing to invest in yourself mm-hmm. and put, you know, put the time in yourself. Anything you're willing to practice, you can do. You can do, man. You can do. If you could see somebody like that at 18 clean up on five, like about her bedroom, man. That's that's uh, that's that's wild. That's wild. Shouts out to Billie Eilish on that. I, I'm gonna be real with you. On the song of the year, I really thought that what should have went to Lil Nas X on the Old Town Road. Yeah, but, man, come on, people. We know how the Grammys do, so I mean, it is what it is. I saw Tyler Creator won his first Grammy too, which is crazy. Man is man. I remember when Dude first came out. It was uh 2011. Mm-hmm. Well, that ain't really when he first came out, but when I first discovered him, 2011, bro, with the uh, Yonkers. And, yeah, I yeah. listened to him uh, a little bit before Yonkers came out. But I started listening with uh, with Bastard, still my favorite. Yeah, see album that was out. yeah yeah that see that that was uh, December 2010 when he dropped mm-hmm. that. So that was like right before I discovered him. But yes, that that album was amazing. I like Bastard too a lot, and the cover to the cover oh, yeah. to the music, just yeah, am- amazing project, amazing project. Um, the, who else you thought should have possibly? Who else you think got snubbed? Um, honestly, I didn't really watch the Grammys. Okay, but like okay. so, like everything I found out is from social media. Right, right. So yeah, I ain't really had internet at my place right now since I'm in the moving process and shit. Of course. So you know, I'm just. Wrong with that. Yeah, so everything I find out is you know through Instagram and shit off my phone. Shit, so that's why you know it's whatever we doing. We doing still doing it. Yeah, yeah man, we still keeping the ball rolling, man. Um. So it is Black History Month. I'm not gonna use this segment to like really get in. I mean, you need to just go look up Black History, especially if you're black. You should know about your people. You should know about your culture. Happy Black History Month. There's um, an Instagram page called Black History. Yes, need- amazing page. I mm-hmm. follow that too. Yes, go follow that. Seriously, that's and that's for all year round. Oh black yeah, history right there. Um, my bad. I just forgot for a second what I was about to bring up. Yes, yeah, Super Bowl. Super Bowl, man. All my Chiefs fans out there, as a Eagles fan. That was a good ass I got to celebrate y'all because of Andy mm-hmm. Reid. That's my guy, man. He coached Philly. He took us to the Super Bowl for the first time. We didn't win. But my man's deserved it, bro. He's been in the league for a minute. Shout out to Kansas City, big time. Did you that, watch Super Bowl? Yeah, that comeback was nice. Beautiful. That comeback was they, nice. Bro, they was coming back. All the playoffs. Oh yeah, they came back every game. Mm-hmm. That Amazing. Shit was, that shit was crazy. What you? What, how many rings you think Patty Mahomes gonna pick up, bro? I think he might get at least three. At, at least, least three. At yeah, least. that's not a bad number, especially the day and age mm-hmm. that we're in. And then we plus we still got a Deshaun Watson, we got oh, a Lamar yeah. Jackson, we, you know. So he he's gonna be up against some shit. And then plus we got Tom Brady. He's not retiring. Oh no! Yet so I know he's gonna be playing with a chip on his shoulder next year because mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. what happened in these playoffs. Um, but yeah, man, I I, I think that uh, Mahomes is gonna be pretty amazing. Man. What do you think about the halftime show though? Oh yeah, the halftime show. I'm not, look. I didn't watch too much of it, but I thought the halftime show was amazing just from a culture uh, mm-hmm. perspective. I just l- love the whole like um, Latina vibe. Of it, I love you know. I always love seeing J Lo. I'm sh- I'm sure I got a lot of other fellas out there that agree with me. Um, well, Shakira was out there too, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not a huge Shakira fan, but that song "Hips Don't Lie" reminds me of like fifth grade. 
I ain't gonna lie. I <laughs> feel like Shakira did a little bit better than J Lo did on the, for the Word. show. Yeah, they both was looking good. Oh, yeah. they were. They were. I thought it was. I thought it was a beautiful halftime show. Beautiful. Best halftime. one we've had in a good while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because that nigga um, Travis Scott didn't really, you know. Uh, I, yeah, I feel like they kind of cut him short, bro. They, I, I, I felt like they didn't give him enough, like, to really put on a a, a, a wild performance because it is Super Bowl still. They gave him what, like, a minute for what, what was it? Goose? What did he perform? Well, it was a uh, sicko mode, right? Yeah, sicko mode. Yeah, and I think it was just a verse, maybe. Yeah, he, so, uh, yeah I don't know. I feel like the only reason why, like, he he was kind of part of the reason why he didn't go on as long. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I don't know. Who knows though? And they got paid for it, though. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, man. Well, so we're now coming into, like, mid-February. Um, I know you say you're going through the move or whatnot. Uh, now that I remember episode 10, we were talking about, like, you know, plans for 2020 and everything. Mm-hmm. So, like, going into mid-February, like, how do you, like, w- what's your mind on right now? What's, like, yo, what's, what's like, the top thing? Hey, I got to get this done. And immediately, Man. honestly, I'm just waiting to get this move done. <laughs> Once I get this move done, yeah, then uh, honestly, I gotta, I gotta get some more av, get some more av clothing out there. Oh yeah, well that's yeah. coming, that's coming. We're working on season, we're on uh season nine right now, people. Oh, so yeah. don't, don't worry, we, we uh. I didn't want to give it away yet, but since he brought the clothes up, man, it's. Hey, I got a little designer at a United Kingdom that's that's working on the designs for this line, man. So okay. I, I got I got some foreign work coming in, man. And I think it's is y'all gonna love it. Y'all gonna love it. But that's what's up. That's what's up. South by Southwest is coming up. Ooh. Are you going? I'm gonna try. I'm a you know, I just gotta figure out if I can take off from work and shit like that. I feel you. Know, it's, it's she ain't no go like Scout, just see some, see some yeah. artists. Yeah, I was, that's why I really, I might just try to hit up, like, go throughout the weekend or something. I feel you. So, you know, try I, to. I don't know if I'm going to go. I really don't. I thought I was going to, like, go, you know, go out there and network or something like that. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm actually saving money to probably make a New York trip. So, okay. all my Which, NY listeners, all my, all, my, all my family and friends back home in Jersey. What you trying to go to New York for, though? I'm not going to tell anybody. I might tell you after the show. Okay. But I don't want to give it away yet because sometimes you should just keep your mouth closed, people, before you let let stuff happen because you block your blessings sometimes, you know, by all the time, I guess, by loosely, excuse me, loose lips sank ships. Oh, yeah. My mom used to tell me that (laughs) when I was a kid and and it still follows me to this day. But, um, yeah, New York's going to be fun. New York's going to be fun. Um, So... All my political people out there, Trump was acquitted. What you think? What you think about that? This man's gonna still be in office for the rest of the year and possibly I mean, the next four years, because you know they're gonna campaign. To, oh yeah, because he's still the number one candidate. Some bullshit. So, I mean, man, whatever. I mean, I I think it was dumb that they even like waited so long to even try to like impeach him. Because I mean, facts. I know on his like, last year, I'm like. Bro, he's almost out. The exactly. Office, like, at this wanna... point, like, it don't even matter. Right. But, like, I don't know. If you win again, then, I mean, like, fuck. I don't know. I don't, I don't really fuck with him. Don't get wrong. There have been a couple things he has done that's been good. Like, our economy is better. But, I mean, that nigga just need to learn to shut his damn mouth. Like, like all the time. Yeah. Like, like all the time. He need to hire a, a social media team or some or media or just a media squad. Because mm-hmm. yeah, he that's my that's my one of my biggest issues with him, bro. Him and his mouth, bro. Cause I know damn well if Obama did any of this shit that he was doing, that it it'd be hell right now in the States. Hell. Yeah. hell. So it's bullshit. Because of skin color, some of the shit you get away with, but whatever, man. You no, know, honestly, you no know, one of my biggest problems been about like since he's been in office. I feel like racism, like just has it's been come way yeah. bolder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause like don't the city out the little town I live in, I ain't gonna lie, I fucking hate it out there. Where are you living in? Where is it? Decatur. Decatur. Yeah, 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 bro. Like that shit miserable. When I was <laughs> bro, like I can't tell you how many times like. I'll see like there'll be random flyers just posted up like oh clan meeting at this oh, place. Oh fuck no! There's like bro like in, yeah like, you should have been moved up out of there. 
Nigga, I wish I really want to. <laughs> but like in the like other little small towns around there, mm-hmm. there's still bars that have like uh no colors allowed. There's a town like Are they doing that for history or something? Like they're legally like no colors allowed. They li- yeah. like there's just a sign chilling on the door saying no colors allowed. I've been burned that place down. And then not even just that. There's another town like 20 minutes from uh the little town I was saying. They literally they had a uh, for the longest time, I think like maybe two years ago, they just took a noose down and it said like it hit forever. It said uh, uh, niggers uh, hang here and shit like that. They just took that shit down too. So like that's sad, man. Yeah, that's sad. But uh, that's sad. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Bro, <laughs> like, it's been miserable. Like, like my first job almost got fired because some random old like old white guy just walked in by. Oh, I want this nigger serving me my food. I said I just sat everything down and walked off. How you off. lose your? How you almost lose your job? Because they said I didn't handle the situation right. That's some bullshit. Cause, but all I did literally set everything down and just walked away. And yeah, so I almost lost my job for that. Yeah, just, first day of school, I ended up choking somebody because <laughs> because I walk out of a classroom and I'm like, oh, who let this in here? My school. Like what? So yeah, I dealt. I dealt with I thought, a lot. Of, I thought Flower Mound was bad. No. You straight up in the fucking 1800s over there. Like. Boy, I, I've dealt with a lot of stuff in that town. Hell no, nah, man. But, but yeah, this, that's what, part of the reason why I'm like ready to uh, move because the uh, apartments I'm about to be moving in, uh, the guy who runs it actually does a bunch of stuff for Juneteenth. And so like he, he wants me to get with him and like try to put things together for Juneteenth and for Black History Month and all that kind of stuff because like, the, there aren't very many black people out there but we he he really wants to like try to get us all together and like try to like just unite and shit Establish out there. Establish some black unity yeah, out there. Cuz it's it's definitely needed out there. So Nah, y'all need yeah. some Malcolm X type shit out there. That's what that's <laughs> needed out there. Y'all need the Nation of Islam out there out that bitch. But Yeah, it, it, um, it's crazy out there, bro. But uh anyways, just to sw- kind of switch the vibe a little bit. The 31st of January. Lil Wayne's funeral was dropped, everybody. What'd you think about the album? I fuck with the album heavy. I so do I, man. I, it, to me, it's not talked about enough right now. Nah, so, it really... Like, seriously. Though, I saw... ran that shit. I like, saw a couple little things about it. Um, but, I mean, only thing I really saw about it is, like, oh, he has 24 songs. And on the eighth song, there's a 24-second, like, grace period at the end for, like... No, nah, I love that. And I did. So, yeah, yeah, I came across that. Yeah, but... Yeah, that was dope. I ain't gonna lie. I uh the day after uh, everything happened with Kobe, I ended up having a basketball game after or the next day. Mm-hmm. So all the whole time before uh, when I was driving to Denton for the game, I literally just kept uh, bumping uh, Lil Wayne's Kobe Bryant song. Mm-hmm. That's all I was bumping uh, to get. Uh, it's called uh, Bing James, right? Uh, shit, I think it's, I just every time I look it, I just look it up as Kobe uh, Lil Wayne Kobe Bryant. And it just pops up. Okay. But it's on the new out. Al- it's on the no. Whatever. This is this is oh, oh. no wonder. I'm like, like bro. Oh. I've listened to funeral. It's been up no, and down. No, no. The list. I have this, not seen shit that said Kobe. No, no, no. Like, this I'm, is an old ass song. I feel you. No, no, that yeah. makes sense now. Yeah. So I, it, I was we were talking funeral, so that's why I was like, no, no. Okay. That, Wait, what? Yeah, no. That was this real old Kobe song. It's like very soon after he uh, changed his number twenty four, like a year or two after that. Damn, yeah, so, so yeah, yeah that's it's, cool. it's been a minute, but no, y'all definitely need to check that song out if y'all ain't ever listened to it. Bet that, bet that. So, since we still on sports, kind of, what y'all think, well, y'all, like, they can talk back to me right now. <laughs> but anyways, what you think about XFL, bro? I got to see a couple games this weekend. I didn't even see any games. You didn't? Uh, nah. I thought I it was dope. I've, I heard it was, I, I seen a little bit talked about it, but, like, mm-hmm. I really got to check anything out about it, though, like, it's dope, bro. It is. It's Come dope. On. You should check Mike. it out. Anybody out there that like that really truly loves football, I think you would enjoy it, honestly, because they them boys were balling this weekend. They was they was putting okay. some work in. It was it wasn't looking like AAF. I'm not even saying that league was bad, but it's XFL is a lot more popping, and I I believe okay. it deserves a chance at least. It just started, people. So of course they ain't gonna be NFL level, and they still playing. They out there playing professional football, people. So I mean, get, get, give the men they credit, man. Watch them. Go check I'm them out. check that out. Especially the Dallas people, man. Y'all got the Cowboys. So, you, you, come on. Like, go support the Renegades because the Cowboys <laughs> is trash. You see that hat over here? That's how we fucking rocking, man. Eagles Nation, baby. <laughs> NFC East champions next year as well. But, anyways. <laughs> anyways. So, I think with the beginning of January, man, um, 
we decided to like take out a uh, a. Uh, one of Iran's like top people with some shit like that. Oh yeah. And then there was a whole yeah. lot of world World War Three talk on the line, all, all a bunch of memes and shit like that, and everybody was just going nuts. So like, what? World War Three happens, man. What do you do? What you do? Man, I don't even know, cause like, <laughs> if we go to World War. 3, I ain't gonna lie. Like the next time that we have like a huge war like that, like. It's probably gonna end up being on like U.S. territory. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's just because the, that the way like history. No, I feel you. So like I, I can see it like being on U.S. territory, and then like it is, and I mean, we bet we just screwed. I so I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, I, I hope it doesn't come to that because I mean the uh, I think what, what what country was it? it wasn't like is no, it wasn't Islam. Uh, what, what, I don't remember what country it was that we uh, we did that shit too, but I did see that. Just they, recently? Yeah. Oh, Iran. Iran, yeah, I don't know what. But yeah, Iran, like, they did uh, say that they don't have any problem with, like, our people, like, the United States citizens. Yeah, it's, the go- it's, it's, just the, a it's our government. You see that? They, uh, and then you said they got a, uh, what, I think it was a $30 million uh, hit for uh, Trump. Bro, nobody's going to get Trump, bro. No no one's going <laughs> to get any recent president, bro. When, when uh, All the technology, all the weaponry, mm-hmm. all the security, like, they they've had enough assassinations of U.S. presidents. The only way one is going, something's gonna happen is it's gonna have to be like mass, or they're gonna have to blow some yeah. shit up like huge. Or is it? But as far as shot, no, it's not gonna happen, bro. He, he's gonna be untouched. Oh yeah, no, just, no one's gonna touch that man. Man, when I saw that shit, I just died laughing. I like I just sat there and looked at like all the comments on that on that shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh, let's go get this bag. Let's get this bag. Yeah, they're retarded <laughs> and they're stupid for getting online saying that shit too because the feds are still online. Like, oh yeah, I saw some dude on Facebook. Of course, obviously, I ain't gonna put his name out there, but he was talking about like literally in detail trying to get Trump. I'm like, you're fucking dumb, bro. Now when the feds oh, yeah. pop up to your house tomorrow about your Facebook shit, don't be mad, and they will. Oh, they, they I know y'all, y'all probably don't believe me, but but if they will, if they need you, they will find you. They're gonna, <laughs> like, they gonna do everything they can yeah. to get your ass. But as far as World War Three goes, look, my dad was in the military, and from what I know, man, we're good, man. We're we're okay. We we got one of the strongest forces in the world. We can't stop God's plan, but don't be scared, man. Live your life because I'm telling you, man. They none of these countries want it with the United States. We we gonna fucking it's it's gonna be a shit storm. See, like one of my only problems about it though is the fact that like if we would have went to war, we would have been having to fight China, Russia. You gotta think about all our allies too. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to tell you, the you got, only way I think we would be legitimately, like, super threatened is if Russia, China, North Korea, all at the same time was like, all right, let's do something. And that's it. Like, they probably the would biggest, have, though. They're the biggest militaries. They, out, they, would, they probably out would there. have, though. But then you got to think about our allies. Our allies are surrounding a lot of those countries. So all Okay, but what, like, hey, what about China's allies? What about Russia's allies? You got, and none of you just said, think about, like, how much shit whenever you go to the store, say, made in China. True. We ain't gonna have none of that shit. If we if we got I mean, war, bro, with them, we got like, the means. There's a lot of lazy motherfuckers that live out here in the states. We got the means to make shit here, bro. But you also got the, like, part of the reason why they go out there is just because it's cheaper. Facts. That's the only reason. Facts. Our so just like, the economy fucked up here, bro. It's just a lot of fucked up shit out here. But we, I, I don't know. I just, you know, I've never really got into the economic shit like that in class, so I can't really say too much, but. Yeah, that, I don't know. I feel like we'll be all right, man. I, I feel like we, we'll be okay. And as somebody that's traveled outside the country, been to several countries, a lot of this shit, y'all, is just misunderstandings, bro. We're actually very similar to these people that don't speak English, that speak whatever their native language is. Like, we're, we're, we all bleed the same, man. Like, we all got feelings, emotions, love, hate. Like, it's, it's, it's not that deep, man. And once we learn how to get along, we're going to be in a lot better place, but... What all countries have you been to, that, though? Huh? What all countries have you been to? Um, so, damn, this is long. Uh, Mexico, Austria, Australia, Germany, New Zealand, Fiji, uh, France, Switzerland, Italy. Um, 
I might be missing one, y'all, but it's a, like I said, it's a long ass fucking list. I, I spent three weeks out in one part of the world, and I spent another three weeks out on that other side of I, the world. Only place I ever been to was Cancun. The only reason why I even <laughs> got to go out there was because my, uh, since my mom was a hairstylist, one of her uh, clients was getting married out there. Oh, that's what's up. And so they paid for uh, paid for our hotel uh, our hotel room and everything. So all we had to pay for is our flight. So it wasn't expensive. It was a nice ass hotel too. We got to ride jet skis and shit out there. It was dope. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like I said, I've been to I've been to Cancun as well, and it is pretty dope out there. I would not return right now. I'm gonna be oh, honest. No. I, I don't know. I don't mean to sound scary, but I just uh, man, in Mexico man, they don't like us too much over there. Right? I ain't go when I uh, was out there. We still just riding the ta- like. First of all, our, that motherfucking taxi driver we had was was something else. Then he was talking about how like, oh yeah, sometimes I like to uh I give people free rides, you know, if they like like women like in that back seat. Oh, I was like, oh no. I was yeah. like, you having to sit on this seat? I was like nice. and, then, and then not even just that, like there was like big ass like army trucks and shit just riding around. All the cops had like Uzis and shit. Like it was it was something else. Cartel, out there. baby. I was like, damn. Cartel. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I was like, this shit's serious. And the serious police don't here. even fuck with them. The police is afraid. When you got the cops afraid of, of, of a certain group, that, bro, that's a problem, bro. When El Chapo's son got arrested, bro, like they. They started just some... offing people for nothing, Hell bro, because yeah. he was locked up. Like, that's what I said. I don't even, I wouldn't even want to fuck around down there, bro. I just, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. No, nothing against Mexico or Mexicans. I'm, but me personally, I'm just, I'm okay. Unless it's a, I don't know. Special circumstances, that's all I'll say. I don't know. I don't know. Is, there's some pretty beautiful places out there. I'm, I'm oh, I believe it. I believe I, it. I, it's I still, still, it's still by the ocean, man. And I love the ocean. I love the, I'm from the East Coast. I'm from by the ocean. I love it, man. I do. Um, one thing I really wanted to touch on, I was on Facebook and Twitter yesterday, and I noticed a lot of people in the Dallas area we're getting upset at Sean. I don't know if you saw this. They they were getting upset at Sean Cotton for like the comments he made, like pertaining around the Eric Badu thing and all that. And just my personal opinion, people, like he was not talking down on Eric Badu. He was just saying what he's done versus her for upcoming artists for the city. And once, of course, we all got our opinions. This is my personal opinion. Sean has done more for upcomings than Erica Badu and it's not even up to Erica Badu to do things because she's an artist you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Sean's not an artist that's what he does so y'all are mad the ones that are mad for nothing there's no reason to be upset he was like he's not talking down he just was proving a point oh, and his yeah. point has been proven just look at the fuck look, just if you pay any sort of type of attention to him online you know what the fuck is going. You know what he's going. Yeah. Like you know what he's doing, bro. So, that nigga like, really be out there, like trying to straight up, these bro. Young niggas up, like St- straight up, bro. And half the niggas that be hating, bro, whether they want to admit it to themselves or not, it's just niggas that like are upset that they're not the ones in the seat of Baby Young and Tay Money splurge. Yeah. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like if you put, and the thing is, bro, like. If they can do it, you can do it. There's nothing different about you versus them. Like they're a person as well. Like you just gotta put in the work ethic. You might meet someone of that of Sean's same cal- caliber in a different different state mm-hmm. that might put you on. Like their journey is not your journey. So just just keep that in mind, people. All my, all my artist people out there, man. Just you, you got you gotta you gotta put that hate shit away, man, and really mm-hmm. like spread love, show love, and appreciate the art and appreciate your journey and come up and know that this shit is not easy. Oh no! Yeah, and the more love you show, the more love you're gonna get back of course. too. So karma like, goes both ways. Yes, sir. You gotta make sure you do that. Karma goes both ways. Yes, sir. Hey guys, Valentine's Day is coming up for all my uh, couples out there, all my single people. I know y'all probably like whatever. Get to save your money, whatever. Okay, <laughs> cool. But hey, man, that special person in your life, man, make them show them, make them feel special, man. Make make them feel special, man. Do something special for them that day. I ain't gonna lie. I probably ain't gonna do nothing with my wife on Valentine's Day. Just I swear, it, you be incriminating the shit out yourself on the show. Bro, like, <laughs> no, nah, it's not you just said. It's because, like, on Valentine's Day, it just, like, it just be so damn busy and shit. So, like, I just, me personally, like, I just wait till, like, the next weekend or something. I just feel Take you. her out and, like, do something with her then. Just because, like, I don't want to, I don't want to sit there try to take her out to eat. And then we have to sit there for a fucking hour. As soon as, like, just waiting. Just like, okay, yeah, like, it's our turn. 
Oh, like, oh, nigga, I, I'm starving. Like, oh, let's go. Let's stop off Taco Bell before you're like, nah, like, I ain't trying to do none of that. So I'll just like it. Like, I might I might cook a meal at the house or something. Like, let her relax, you know, take care of her son, you know, mm-hmm. let her have her little day. But uh, that's about it. Nah, I ain't. That's what's up. It still, it still sounds like you got it on lock, man. At first, I thought you were saying, like, all right, look, I ain't going to lie to you, but I ain't doing shit. <laughs> So I, I don't know what like you said. I was like, really? It, it just depends. Cause like, like I said, I'm still in the moving process. Like I already told her, I was like, I was like, us moving is more important than any of this shit. So right, like, I, feel you. I was I feel like, you. once we get moved and everything, like I'll, I'll make sure I do like, I'll show you some love and shit. But right. like, you know, uh, I get, you can, she can wait. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this wasn't exactly how we planned this evening, but I mean, you know, we still punched it out, man. And uh, those of y'all that decided to tune in and stay with us and and still fuck with us, rock with us, man, I appreciate it. Seriously, all love. Thank you so much. Once again, my guest that was supposed to show up, it's all love, man. It shit happens, man. It's, it's whatever. Um, Trey. You got some shout outs, man. Anything you want to say to the people before I wrap this thing up? Shit. Shout out to Savage World. Them the homies. Shit, uh, shout out to this nigga Big D. Thank you for letting us do all this. Thank yes, you for getting sir. us all together. Yes, sir. Fuck with the new studio. <laughs> this shit real nice. If y'all haven't noticed, yeah, like, we're looking real fancy in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're doing, doing the damn thing, man. Thank you, D. Yes, for sir. Sure. Uh, shout out to my wife, my son. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my right hand man, you know, like, this is my boy. Forever. Since day one. Forever. Long live the Ave. Oh, yeah. Shut in that. I really got nobody else to shout out right now. Bet that, man. Bet that. Well, before I get into my shout outs, man, I, I just, I seriously want to thank everybody that fucks with the Ave brand and that even through the roller coasters, ups and downs, all that good mm-hmm. stuff, man, you really just stuck it out with me throughout the years, man. The people that reach out to me and check on me and ask about my stuff and, and, and just all that stuff, man. Whether y'all think so or not, that, that shit feels good and I appreciate it. And I, and I just want to say thank you to everybody. Um, I know a lot of people were looking for the Kane film to drop at the end of last year. Um, just to give a quick update on that, I actually rewrote the film and um, we're, we plan to start shooting either towards the end of this month or next. Um, but I have a great film a uh, great short film in the works coming up for y'all. Y'all, y'all gonna love it. It's gonna be well worth the wait. Um, my goal is to get it dropped by summertime, but you know, I'm gonna see how the how the chips fall. As far as the music, everybody that's wondering where the hell Russ Maurice is at, man, just keep wondering. But no, I'm working, man. I'm 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 gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. Um, shout out everybody fucking with the Av, man. Shout out. The Av family, shout out my brother Rocket, man. We love you. I always will love you, bro. Um, uh, shout out to DK. He won't hear with us tonight, man. He's uh, doing his thing, man. He get he putting some work in. Oh Got yeah, some songs and some videos coming for y'all. Fresh about the Av, man. Here soon. Um, gosh, what else? What else, man? What else? Uh, shout out my family. Shout out my wifey. Uh, Shout out my kids. That's really it. That's really it. Shout out, uh, shout out Big D, of course. He beat me to it already, but but shout out Big D, man, for for putting up with us, man, and and uh and and making sure the show goes well, man, and rocking with us. I much, much, much appreciate it. Um, that's it, y'all. So I really hope you at least kind of enjoyed Oh Eleven. I uh, you know, it, it didn't go as planned, but I. As D but told me, we did our thing. Like, That's all that happens. matters. So it's, we did it's our all, motherfucking thing. Yeah, man. It's all about how you who can make a play. I can, man. You know, you know what I'm saying. We can. So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, good night. Thank you for tuning in. I love y'all. I will see you for O12. Y'all will see who the guest is. Got another special guest, and yes, he's showing up 100. percent Oh yeah, 100 percent or 99.9. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but anyways man like subscribe and share please please y'all have a good y'all. motherfucking night goodbye